Hey guys, we got a new part. <laughs> What's going on guys? We got a new part for the rear end of my car. I probably gave it away in the description or the title or the thumbnail, but it's from RW Carbon. And my first question is, is this box going to fit in my car? Because this thing is pretty big. It's taller than the car. I'm over six feet. It's almost up to my shoulder. Let's hope it fits. I got no rear seats, so we should have a little bit more space. This is the, I guess, an M2 practicality test. Okay, so let's see. It is going to be transforming my rear diffuser. It's a carbon diffuser. I'll just, okay, there you go. Now you know. It's a carbon diffuser because the stock one doesn't look bad, but it needs to be a little bit more aggressive. I'm so excited. This has got to be the solution now. Oh my God, it's basically an SUV that fit perfectly. I honestly don't know if this would have fit with the rear seats. So guys, let this be a lesson. Delete your rear seats, all right? It makes the car more practical. Okay, so we were about to start to do the diffuser, but instead I had a bright idea. Since Victor C63 has the same bolt pattern as my car, he's on two-piece BC Forge silver wheels, and we wanted to see what it would look like on mine, and maybe swap my wheels on his. So his are 19s all the way around with a lot smaller tire. I'm 20s in the back. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but these are the wheels, let me show you. I've already taken the other two off. I was only gonna put two on just to see what it would look like on one side. Also, if you could not tell, his car is white because he's just unwrapping it. Pretty much unwrapped from the green. Lots of cool things coming for that car, but let me show you what it looks like on mine. It literally just started raining, which is unfortunate, but I mean, I don't even know what to think. The silver looks really good, but the size of the wheels look tiny for the car, and it's only from a 20 to a 19 in the back. I don't even want to try to fit these on his car because look at the, the size difference from this 19. is like the worst fitment I've ever seen, so that's definitely not going to fit in the back of his car. And the caliper in the front, it barely fits it. The rotor's barely clear. You can't even see any wheel well or dark space. It's literally just the rotor. The back, I actually can't even drop the car off the, the lift because I don't know if you can see, the screws on the rim are actually like basically touching the caliper. There's no way if I lower it, it doesn't touch because the rim isn't on 100%, but I know when I get it fitted properly, it's going to smash the caliper. This looks so weird though. Silver is definitely the move. Maybe I'm going to change my calipers from red to something else because I don't know if this matches the pink, but I don't know what other caliper color would match the pink. You guys let me know. Yo, this is freaking carbon fiber. Awesome. This looks like something that like, this is like some Megatron diffuser. It's definitely different than like a traditional, like a four slap or whatever these things are called, four fin spoiler. I wanted something that goes underneath the exhaust tips. That's what this does. And this is just a completely different design from a normal BMW diffuser, so. I posted this on my snap and people told me not to do this because it would kind of take away from the wing and it would be too much going on in the rear end. I never listened to anybody about the spoiler, but the color, I'm not gonna start now. We also got a three piece extension I think this goes on the bumper. I don't know which side is which. We'll figure that out. I hope this is not going to be a difficult install. So as you can see, this diffuser is not bad looking, but kind of boring at the same time. It's gloss black. It's not carbon fiber. Apparently it's all clips, no fasteners, and you just literally rip the diffuser back. It's kind of difficult with how tight the fit is with the exhaust. I'm kind of concerned with the new diffuser if it's going to fit with that. Ooh. Oh, 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 that was good. Oh, it's perfectly off. Normally when I take like OEM parts off or like stuff that I'm not using, I would just like stomp on and throw it. Yeah, I just keep I'm not gonna do that. It actually looks like the freaking the freaking stock design. It looks the same, it, it just there's like nothing the freaking, there. It looks like the freaking stock design, like the same thing. It's just black, stupid, ugly fat. Okay, something ain't right here. Oh. <laughs> why why does it go like that we have to adjust the tips down there's just no chance that's gonna fit get down and dirty boy we're cleaning off the uh 
the sides now for the extension pieces. Show them, show them the diffuser, all right? This is as good as I could get it without removing the exhaust, or like dropping the exhaust down properly. It's kind of hard working on the floor. The tips had to come out quite a bit. It was a joke of a blast pipe to start, but it's kind of what it's turned into now. Right, we're doing some alcohol wiping down the edges so it's nice and clean to stick that 3M on. And then we're gonna see the finished product, man. It uses 3M tape and it actually reuses two OEM screws into the bumper. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to, to glow. We are done, the diffuser's on, and now I want your honest opinion. I got the stock one laying right there, but let me know what you guys think about this. There is a lot going on on this rear end now. I absolutely love these side extensions. It makes the side of the car flow really well with the skirts, front lip. It just flows nicely now, carbon front to back. My tips are pretty far out. I'm probably gonna have to get this exhaust adjusted a little bit because I brought the tips out to get a little bit more space. I could not manage to actually drop the whole exhaust down, so. Make fun of me if you want, okay? I'm gonna have to go to a shop and get them to do it. I'm sorry. But overall, this is wicked. I like it a lot. It's uh, it's definitely really different, which is probably what I'm going for with this car, as you can maybe tell from the other mods, but it's super, super aggressive. Like, there's so much going on here. I might actually do a Fierce Fuchsia, like, wrap match on the stripes here, or the strip. Just one and two. I think that's probably all of it would, it would take. Maybe blend it a little bit more. I don't know if you guys think this is too much going on or too aggressive. Um, it looks so good. I actually don't mind how far out they sit. I think it kind of adds to the aggression of the rear end. They could probably go in a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but for a temporary thing, this is not that bad. Unfortunately, when taking off the stock diffuser, I did scratch the tips, like all of them. Pretty unfortunate. And it's not touching on this one, the inside tips, the diffuser is not touching, but the outside one, it is like resting barely on it. So that's why the exhaust has to be adjusted. If I was smart, I would have taken the exhaust tips off before I removed the diffuser. Like, this is so small and like plain and boring compared to what is going on here. Let me know if you guys would choose a more subtle diffuser, but I absolutely love it. I want this car to just look ridiculous and I think it's getting there. And I might have to reach out to Valvetronic to send me some new tips. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think we should do next to the M2. Don't say wheels, I know I need wheels. Those are my shoes, I'm filming barefooted right now. I don't know why. And make sure you go check out RW Carbon for cool parts for your car because they're the only brand that carried a diffuser like this. No one else was doing that. Before we end up on the video, I do wanna ask you guys something. This is actually probably going to be the next mod that I do. I'm going to be replacing the front two kidney grills. There are so many different designs for this car. We have the middle slat, single slat the middle one that goes into like the y spokes so it's like the csl we have the like a diagonal one they're all gonna be carbon fiber which is cool but i think when you swap that out you actually have to go ahead and do these as well these come with a different design to kind of match the grill auto id has a nice kind of oem looking set it's like a double slat carbon looks really good i might do that or the just straight horizontal one you guys let me know okay now thank you so much for watching let's freaking go dude i appreciate all you guys let's go